everyone, it's the Psychic Sleuth, and I just want to make a quick video real quick. Uh, more about Quentin Simon, and hopefully help with his location. And, um, so the reason why I want to post this is because it's been bugging me, and I'm hoping that maybe the right person will see it. So, if it's shared to the right people, maybe they'll see it. And the only reason I'm going to mention this, that I'm about to mention about my experience, is in case a police officer or someone sees it and they... Um, we'll take it more seriously. So, I have a professional experience of over 10 years, and throughout a lot of the cases that I've worked, people have been where I say they are. With Quentin, it's been even a more accurate sort of thing. Um, I was able to be pulled and mention an area across from where he, she allegedly dumped him, as well as Little Neck, right next to Southwest Church, which is right next to the landfill. It's not far from the landfill. On a map, it, it looks a lot closer than it is, but it was a reference point. So that was an area I got sick at. Um, the, the trash bag and the, the sound of the trash truck picking up the trash and why I was getting two locations was because where he was allegedly taken and then where he ended up through the route of the trash truck. I spent days going back and forth from uh, work to home to try to figure out why I was being pulled that way and it was due to the fact that she allegedly dumped him at an RV park from what we know. Cops are being tight lipped because they want to um, protect the integrity of the case which I completely understand and I am in no way trying to harm that whatsoever. However, I feel like I have a strong connection with Quentin and I feel like my information has been dead on since um, he went missing before any of this was ever released and they can go back and look at my stuff but I got information before anything was released um, and I feel the evidence they have is definitely evidence that I had mentioned in my videos so again I kept being pulled to Little Neck I went multiple times the area in the second video is more what is the perimeter so if you keep going past Little Neck um, area to uh, you hit the preserve and whatnot. So, so the more readings that you do, you can get a little bit further out away from location if you already have the location. But no matter what way I went, I kept getting back to the Southwest Church, which is right next to the landfill. I wasn't shown the landfill at the time because a lot of people were getting it, and I feel that's why he showed me the church. And that church is, it looked exactly as I saw as far as across from it is woods and marsh. Um, and I believe also to the side of it would be as well. So there's a few things that I am getting that I want to try to help in the area of the landfill and I'm hoping that maybe this will get sent to the right person or the right people either law enforcement or someone that works at the landfill and that maybe it will click a little bit um, so I can get things that are around but the, um, let me just try to remember a couple things that I was getting so one thing that's been sticking out to me today is the towers there are towers that run through that I was getting two kinds I was getting a tower that is like a I don't know if it's a cell phone tower or a different type of tower. And then I was also getting the electrical towers. There are electrical towers that actually run behind and run through the landfill. Um, he made me feel that he was close to one of these towers. I kind of get fourth with it, so I don't know if that's a fourth tower. I know four seems to be important with him in this case and can have multiple meanings, so I wanted to mention that. However, the tower is very, you know... Um, he, I keep being shown like how when me and Angela were near these towers and they were really tall and really big, he keeps showing me that. Like he's not far from them. He can see them. Um, another reference was a chain link fence or a fence that was close to the tower. And I know that law enforcement has cadaver dogs and they can probably do a better job at, at this than me. But I'm just wondering if we put them in a location that I am describing if it would help them a little bit. That's if he has not been found already, and if this is going to be helpful, I just want to put it out there. Um, so another thing that I was getting that did come in was cement steps. Now, we are seeing that there are a couple of cement steps in that area, and I, I don't know if it's relevant or not, but I, I found it very kind of interesting. Um, another thing that was coming through was I was getting a tractor, that a tractor had moved um, a pile of trash after he went missing so this would be um, any I mean they probably already know this I know it's probably 
obvious, but I don't really know how dumps work. Um, so I keep seeing a tractor pushing this trash after he went missing. And so I feel like um, if they figure out like who, where, what trash was pushed after he went missing after that trash got dumped there, it might be helpful in figuring out what pile because he says he's buried in a pile. There was a reference of a mattress being on or close to him as well as the color red which I'm not really sure if that means like there's something red next to him or exactly what that means. But if there's any marshy areas in this uh, land fill, that's one thing that kept coming through was marshy areas as I kept seeing the tall grass with water like if it had rained. Um, I feel like the you know the water that I was getting that I was seeing like a larger body is in kind of the distance and I I did hear Maine so I, I do want to say that he is more I mean it's hard to say but I heard that word so that could be the main area um but I do feel like like he's not far from the electrical towers because that's something that I've been seeing all day and it's by like a chain link fence um, and I don't know, again, if these areas make sense as to what, the, you know, to where he could possibly be as far as where they would, how they work the landfill. I'm not really sure. Um, so, but he makes me feel like he's buried, like, due to the pull, pushing of the, um, what's it called, tractor and whatnot. But, um, so... I think I just wanted to say that in case this crosses the right person and what I am getting is significant um, I did get that uh, in one of in, in one of the readings um, I specifically saw searchers and hounds so I don't know if he was saying that they were by them at one point or what I also keep seeing these weird posts and they're I think they're yellow and silver I don't know they stand up and they like have yellow and silver stripes okay I don't know what the significance is of that, um, but I do feel like he was pushed into a pile, like literally, it was almost like after um, he got there. So I don't know if they can figure out the timing of that, if this is going to be helpful or not. Um, But it is coming in like the towers are significant as in he's like a pile next to the tower or he can see the tower or there it's it's something that's been kind of repetitive today and usually when things repeat they're usually important so this would be one of those electrical towers and again i keep seeing the fence so i don't know if the fence runs behind the electrical towers or exactly how that works and again i'd be looking at to see if there's any marshier areas that I don't know if it rained around the time he went missing. I cannot remember. I do not know about what the weather was out there, but I feel like it would have been wet at the time. And I keep seeing like this grass with water, like marshy area kind of feeling, um, which I know that a lot of Georgia is, but I'm just wondering if there's any more of a marshier area in the landfill. Um, so again, I stated this is the area he was at. I kept going back and forth from the home to work, um, to work to, uh, what's it called, to Little Neck, and I kept saying I felt sick around Southwest Church, which the landfill is right there, so then they come out saying that that's where they think he is. Now, um, take it as you will, we can get within miles or whatever, but I feel like going back on my reading, it's right, uh, again, the marshlands and the preserve and everything, if you keep going, that's what you hit. So we will get perimeters on what what is around the area and what can be seen around the area. Um, and again, the road um, that I kept getting was, sorry about my bird, it's the middle of the day. But the road I kept getting was, I kept hearing cars, so I don't know if that means it's possible he's closer to the freeway or closer to a road, depending on where. So I hope this is helpful. I do hear the word sifting, so I do feel like law enforcement is doing their job. I just wanted to put this out in case it gets them closer to where he may be. Um, 17th has been very important, or 17 it seems to be. Um, I find it interesting, and it kind of interconnects Kylie with the 17 on her hip, but I've been getting signs about that number. I don't really know what it's about. I feel like he will be found soon, 
and um, I just hope that this is helpful. I had to post it because if I didn't, it was going to drive me crazy. So, for baby Quentin, justice for baby Quentin.